like to see the same, please. See us, Dr. Lott. I uh, heard about you running for the hospital board. Hope you win. Give us a reason to celebrate. Well, I've, uh, I've got a lot of confidence, but I do have my detractors. No, they're wasting their time. No one can compete with you. I uh, look forward to our celebration. Well, good morning. What's so good about it? Well, let's see. Prince William is still single, and I hear Celine Dion is retiring. Okay, the strike's over. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good thing, too. Well, I figured when it was, I'd never have to see this place again. But my dad's making me stay until my attitude changes. Okay, I could be here forever. Oh. Well, you know what? Maybe these would help. Tickets to Smashing Pumpkins concert? Yeah, a friend gave them to me. It's not really up my alley. I love them. Well, then you take them and you enjoy. You deserve it after all the time you've been spending here lately. Okay, tell that to my father. Well, if I, if I meet him, I certainly will. You know, I, I hear your family is remarkable, especially your grandmother. That's one of the reasons why I'm running for that seat on the board, just for the privilege of working with her. Cool, these are fourth row. You know, you'd think if, if you get the chance, you might mention to her that I would really appreciate her vote for the board election. Yeah, sure, I'll tell her. Well, I better deliver these. Gosh, who am I going to take? Anybody miss me? Like you gave us the chance. Uh, you're, you're early for our appointment. Oh, I, uh, I came to say hi to Chris. I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay. What happened? Rachel, cancel your session? She's too busy putting up campaign posters? No. And it would be great to have her on the board. <laughs> yeah, great for her. And for me. If I'm ever going to get my job back, I'll need a friend in high places. What about Christina? Well, what does that have to do with anything? Oh, I guess Rachel didn't tell you. <laughs> She's running against Lucy for the same board seat. See ya. I'm thinking about representing Joe at his peer review. I don't think that's such a good idea. Why not? Well, depending on the evidence, General Hospital might have to let Joe go. And you know it's up to the board to keep the best interest of the hospital in mind. Well, maybe it's the best interest of the hospital for Joe to go back to work as a doctor. I just don't think you should push this one, that's it. Well, you know what? I feel like I'm the one that's being pushed here. I mean, what's the problem? Well, to start with, you nominated Lucy for the board. So what? Don't, don't you think she would do a really good job? That's not the point. She's your fiancé. You know, if my motives can be questioned all the time like that, maybe I'm the wrong guy for this oh, board no, job. No, 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 come on. All I'm saying is, Scott, j just pick your fights. Pick them carefully. Make sure you can win them. Why? Where, where, where's the fun there? How is Chris doing? Well, you see him at work. What are you asking? Well, I'm just not sure he supports my run for the board. And there's no one better to convince him otherwise than you. Rachel, with Lucy running against you, things have gotten a lot more, uh, complicated. I mean, you can see why I can't afford to alienate her. Look, I know how desperately you want Christina back. Okay, so then you understand why it's best if Chris and I stay neutral. It's important for me that the hospital and the board see that Chris supports me. But yes, I do agree. You should stay with Lucy. What are you saying? Well, with you in her circle, I'll know everything that she says and does. You want me to be your spy. Yes. Can I count on you? Well, I've only got a few. What's up? Uh, listen, Joe, I know you're anxious to get back to work, so I, I might be able to help you out here. How? That's your lawyer. Scott, with all due respect, I don't need a lawyer. I think the facts will show that I did the right thing. Uh, how about I help you present the facts? Hey, Scott. 
Hector. Yeah, I thought I was the bad guy. Ah, you did good. Uh, you're a tough negotiator. You guys deserve a fair deal. How are the kids? Well, they're digging that new uh, pair of shoes I got them after my first paycheck. Well, I know it was tough. Yeah, you scabbing didn't make it any easier. Mm. Hey, listen, Joe, it's gonna take a while for everybody to get past this. Yeah, well, I think as soon as I get back to work, things will go back to normal, you know? Well, I don't think it's as easy as you think, you going back to work. I mean, come on, man. You crossed the line here with this bone marrow transplant. Scott, Neil's in remission because of me. That's all I wanted to do. Yeah, but it's not that simple. It was when I operated on Audrey. I survived that, didn't I? Yeah, but that was a different situation. You, you were an intern in a crisis. Now, you're a resident, and you completely went against the wishes of the parents. Don't be an idiot, all right? You're going to need legal advice here. Scott, I did the right thing. It may not be that easy, Joe. Mmm, oh. I love a man in uniform. Well, Hi. I have to admit, it feels pretty good to be back on the job. Yeah? Well, I want to show you something. What do you think? Hmm? Nice couch. Italian suede. You like it? Huh? How much? Five thousand. You must have taken a whack to the head. The, the classic design will go with everything. Except the 10-year-old kid in a converted loft apartment. It, it's going to look great. In somebody else's place. Look, I, I know it's a little bit extravagant, but, but we can afford it, Frank. Is that your final answer? Yes. Sorry, the correct answer is no way, not a chance. End of conversation. Code yellow. Look, Scott, I appreciate your offer, but I can handle this one on my own. Yeah, know, Karen was right. You're more stubborn than I am. I should have known Karen put you up to this. So what's wrong with that? She just wants what's best for you, Joe. And how is she so sure she knows what that is? It's a woman thing. They always think they got everything figured out. Yeah, well, it bugs the hell out of me. Well, how about try living with a whole house full of them, huh? And, and Christina, she can't even talk yet, but she gives me the look already like, I just did something. Yeah, well, Karen's way beyond looks. I say one thing, she does the exact opposite. I know, I know, and they think if we don't do, we're just, a, you know, pig heads, right? right? But you know what the annoying thing is? When they're right. Now, be sure and call me if you have any discomfort. I don't care how minor. And if you experience any shortness of breath, get right back here to the hospital. Do you think I will? I'm just saying if you do. Okay. You know, it doesn't do any good saving their lives if you're going to scare them to death. Just being thorough. What happened with Camille Owens wasn't your fault. Hmm. Yeah. How did uh, your session with Rachel go? Interesting. Very interesting. Well, I would expect an hour in that pretty head of yours to be nothing less. Hmm. So what's going on up there, anyway? I've decided to work for Lucy's election to the hospital board. You're joining Lucy's camp. Mm-hmm. As a spy for Rachel. You've got to be kidding. No, coming out against Lucy would hurt my relationship with her. And this way, she'll think I'm her biggest fan. And when Rachel wins, they both will owe me big time. Pretty smart, huh? Actually sounds pretty stupid and dangerous. Uh, what if Lucy finds out? No, Rachel is sure that I can pull it off. Oh, I see. Was this Rachel's idea? What's the difference whose idea it was? It was my decision. Are you sure? Rachel can't make me do anything I don't want to. No one can. Well, I wouldn't try to. But you think Rachel would, and that she'd be successful. I was just hoping that you would have, by now, started to see how you've outgrown that relationship. You asked Scott to represent me? Hey. I asked for his professional opinion even though you knew that's not what I wanted. I don't need your permission to talk to my own father. Karen, life would just be a lot easier if you'd let me know what you're up to when it comes to me. Well, you haven't exactly kept me clued into all your decisions. Well, that was professional, not personal. Look, Joe, I just asked Scott to give you advice. You know, I don't even know why I thought you'd listen to him. You sure don't listen to anybody else. Karen, it's me who's not getting hurt here. Oh, I hear you, Joe. I hear you loud and clear. You're refusing my father's help and jeopardizing your entire career so you could get back at me. What? This isn't about us, Karen. You know what? You're right. Because there isn't any us. Not anymore. Dr. Rodriguez, 715 Dr. Roland Rodriguez, 715 Looks like Joe's a little uptight about his peer review. 
He's uptight because I asked Scott to serve as his counsel. Oh, Karen, you shouldn't have done that. That's all I've heard. I mean, I'm just concerned about the position you may be putting yourself in. I, you know, they may call on you to testify. And I will tell them the truth, that Joe's a great doctor and he should be back at work. Yeah, but getting in the middle of this isn't going to help you or Joe. Look, it could cost you a career. I don't sacrifice people I love because it's expedient. But you've got to learn how to separate your head from your heart. You see, you owe it to yourself. You, you owe it to this hospital. This entire staff depends on you for important decisions. Uh, let's take the, the board election, for example. I don't have a vote on that. But you do have influence. Don't you think it's time that you learned how to use it? Look, Rachel, I've seen Lucy's commitment to the hospital year after year, giving her time and energy to the nurses' ball. She's one of GH's most successful fundraisers. Look, we're putting on a charity bash and administering a hospital. They are completely different. But I'm sure when it comes time for you to make up your mind about Joe and Lucy, you're going to do what's right for you and GH. The DC, we radioed in. We stabilized his neck and his head and gave him two large bore IVs en route. Dr. Birch, Hey. Hey, I was looking for Matt. Haven't seen him. Must be nice having your job back, huh? Yeah, it's great. I was looking forward to getting back to it myself. Well, you seem pretty confident. I don't see any reason not to be. I saved Neil's life, didn't I? You know, that's not all it's about. There are a lot of other questions they'll be asking you. Oh, of course, Frank. How are you going to be answering those questions? You want me to stand up for you like you didn't stand up for me when I was accused of using drugs? That was a long time ago. Mm, doesn't seem so long ago to me. Well, now it's me keeping your secret about who saved Neil from anaphylactic shock. I keep quiet. You're still the hero. You're keeping your mouth shut for yourself, not me. If the board finds out that you broke your restriction, you'll be out of GH for good. What I want to know, Frank, is where are you coming down? Well, you know what? I guess we'll just have to wait to the peer review to find out. Hey, Papa. Thanks, guys, for the call. We got All right. Go. On my way, Emilio. All those years of med school. For this. Hmm. Nice. Yeah. Patient male or female? Male. Figures. Oh. I suppose there's a reason for that gender bias diagnosis. It's just men. Oh, are we talking about all men or just those whose first names start with a J and end with a V? Doesn't matter how hard I try, I can't figure them out. Well, that's your first problem, trying to figure them out. It doesn't matter what I say or do, uh, they always want to fight you on it. You tell them the sky is blue, they say it's gray. Well, I guess the right answer would depend on whether it was cloudy or sunny. <sighs> Well, that's what I mean. It doesn't matter what the answer is. It matters that they're right. Chalk it up to the patriarchal society that teaches men that they always have to be right. For instance, heaven forbid they stop and ask for directions, right? Oh, and oh, never eat quiche. Well, that's what I mean. What's the big deal? Eat quiche. Okay, well, wait a minute now. There should be no female anger. See, because that would trigger their fear of, of symbolic castration. Mm -hmm. You know, I just want a nice, peaceful relationship, just like you and Kevin have. Now, don't go idolizing me and Kevin, you know. I mean, every relationship has its problems. Yeah, but you guys manage to get past them. Joe and I, well, we don't seem to do that. Joe is an intense kind of guy. Maybe that's the attraction. Men can't live with them. And I sure as hell don't want to live without them. Hey. Hey. I thought you left. I did, but I, I hated leaving without making a final decision on that couch. I thought we did. Look, you're right. I, it is expensive. But don't think of it as just a piece of furniture. Think of it as a vote of confidence in, in you and in our future. 
I know that look. <laughs> You're up to something. Don't worry. I'm not going to rob a bank. Here. I don't... I don't need you. Because I have discovered a gold mine. And you are standing right in the middle of it. What are you talking about? We're going to sue Joe and G.H. for malpractice. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Mm. You make it up for all the sleep you lost during the strike? Yeah. I don't know how much longer it could have kept up this workload. Well, look. After a little bit of... Rest and relaxation. Mm -hmm. Everyone will be seeing things a lot more clearly. Oh, I think I already am. You know, every single one of my relationships went down in flames. And they all seem to have one thing in common. Me. Oh, wait a minute now. I don't know a whole lot about relationships, okay? But there's one thing I do know. Mm. It takes two people to have a relationship. And it takes... Two people to screw it up. Hey, oh, can we talk? Uh, yeah, I guess. Do, do you want to leave? No, 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 it's okay. Okay. Um, you were right. Getting through this peer review might be tougher than I thought. So if the offer still stands, I'd like Scott to represent me. Sure, I'll, I'll tell him. Knowing me the way you do, I'm surprised you haven't already. I'll take care of it. I just wanted you to know. Okay? Thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They can be annoying. But when they look at you like that, you gotta love them. Denise, I admitted a patient for observation. He should stay calm, but if there are any problems, please page me. Sure, not a Great. problem. Thank you. Later, Dr. Locke. Oh, what, are your shifts over already? Yeah, I'm off to the concert. Well, great, great. Um, did you get a chance to talk to your grandmother? Yeah, I almost forgot. Well, um, did she give you any indication as to how she would be voting? No, just that she doesn't approve of anyone trying to get to her by bribing her granddaughter. Hey, I don't mind. <laughs> but she has this thing with ethics, so... I gotta go, because I don't want to be late. Yeah, well, have fun. You know, the more I think about you serving on the board, the more excited I get. Really? Well, I'm glad you find the electoral process so stimulating. You know, we should get together later. Go over which board members to work on. It's a date. Dr. Boardman, deceleration injury down in the ER they want to talk to you about? I'll be right back. Scott, hey, just the guy I wanted to talk to. What about? Well, it's about the uh, the board election. I know you feel obligated to, to back Lucy, but I'm hoping that you keep an open mind. I mean, we both know who the most qualified candidate is. Oh, yeah? Who might that be? Well, you've seen my credentials. Yeah, I know your credentials. And, and they're good. They're really good, and I'm not going to deny that, not for myself and not for this hospital. I mean, I can turn this institution into a place of, of uh, prestige and prominence, attracting the best doctors and, along with it, the most lucrative grants. Well, listen, Lucy was my idea, and I'm, I'm sticking with it, okay? I'll see you around. Okay. Eve! Oh, don't even think about it. Shall we go over that list? Yeah, well, we can start by crossing Scott off of it. Oh, you don't need him. You know what? You're right, I don't. But if I do want to win this seat on the board, I'm going to have to come up with a much...